Nothing else matters Nothing else counts I'm in the presence Of my name I felt stirred, Pastor Nat, to just talk on answered prayer I think that many believers do not understand the dynamics of answered prayer psalm 65 and verse 2 the bible says unto thee that heareth or some versions say answered prayer he says shall all flesh come second scripture very quickly is james chapter 4 and verse 2 i want you to please connect and lend me your attention i want to show you a few things and then we'll pray the bible says ye have not and the simple reason is because ye ask not that if you know how to ask in a certain way, there is a guarantee that you will have. Final scripture, John 16, 24. Jesus is speaking and here's what he says. He says, Hitherto ye have asked for nothing in my name. Then he says, ask. Who is asking you to ask? Jesus himself. He's saying, ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. Now please listen. God is a prayer answering God, not just a prayer hearing God. God is a prayer answering God. It takes life to hear, but it takes power to answer. You see that? Many people can hear, any living thing can hear, but it takes power for answers to come. So God is not just a prayer hearing God. He is a prayer answering God. Say he's a prayer answering God. Shout it again. Say it's a prayer answering God. Psalm 91 verse 15. Please give it to us. Psalm 91 and verse 15. Here's what the psalmist said. 91 and verse 15. Let's read it together. One to read. He shall call upon me. Uh -huh, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. I will honor him. May that be someone's testimony. So God is a prayer answering God. I'm saying this so that when we begin to pray, you carry within yourself this consciousness that I am praying to a God that does not just hear, but that he answers. Hallelujah. Three principles very quickly I want to share with you this night, this morning, and then we'll get to the place of prayer. Number one, the first principle that governs answered prayer is the consciousness of the love of God. If you are not conscious of the love of God, it will affect your releasing faith to get your prayers answered. The consciousness of the love of God. Romans chapter 8 and verse 32. The consciousness of the love of God. Romans 8, 32. Let's read together. It says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? You know what he's saying? We did not ask God to give Jesus. He gave us the greatest gift without us asking. How much more would he give us what we now ask for? He that did not spare his son, would he withhold prosperity from you? Would he withhold healing from you? Would he withhold lifting from you? Hallelujah. Second scripture. James 1.5. Profound scripture. I hope you are learning already. The consciousness of the love of God. He says, if any man... If any one of you lack, he's speaking about wisdom here, but it refers to any other thing. If anyone lacks favor, if anyone lacks help, if anyone lacks deliverance, he says, let him ask of God that giveth unto men liberally. I like that word. The word liberally means lavishly without finding fault. Lavishly without finding fault. And he says, it shall be given to him. So the first revelation that governs answered prayer is the consciousness of the love of God expressed in and through Jesus Christ. That when I approach him in the place of prayer, I am aware that God loves me and that provided it is consistent with his will. That leads me to the next point, that he will not withhold from making it available. Are we learning? Principle number two, the second principle that governs answered prayer is the knowledge of his will. It is not enough to be aware of the love of God. First John chapter 5, 14 and 15. Many people are aware of the love of God. But the reason why they do not find answers is because they pray sincerely, but their prayers are inconsistent with the will of God. 
let's read those who are in the studio here let's shout it 14 and 15 ready one to read and this is the confidence we have in him uh -huh, that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us now pause for a moment if we ask anything that anything is governed by the will of god once it is according to his will there is a guarantee that he heareth us but he does not just stop there next verse 15 says and if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him so before we begin to shout and pray dissipating energy we must verify that that which we are seeking to see manifest in our lives is consistent with the will of god and the will of god is captured in scripture the bible contained within the bible is a revelation of the will of god every scripture that represents god's commitment is a representation of his will for instance he says when there is a casting down that for you there is a lifting up so when you are praying god lift me you pray with assurance knowing that what you are saying is consistent with the will of god that i will call upon the lord who is worthy of praise he says so shall i be saved from my enemies so salvation and deliverance from your enemies is the will of god and when i pray deliverance i pray with understanding that i'm praying consistent with the will of god is someone learning so number one we pray with the consciousness of the love of god that he will not withhold any good thing from us number two we pray in accordance to his will ready for the final key faith engaging with god in prayer the bible says in hebrews 11 and verse 6 it says he that without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to god must come believe in number one that he is meaning he exists and then number two he is a rewarder Hi. a rewarder of them that diligently seek him not just them that know him them that seek him in mark chapter 11 and verse 24 jesus himself is speaking here mark 11 24 i hope you love scriptures it says therefore i say unto you read with me what things soever ye desire uh-huh when ye pray hold on hold on hold on hold on it says when ye pray believe so it's possible to pray and doubt while you are praying when ye pray believe so just praying does not automatically mean you believe you can pray out of fear you can pray out of a sense of uncertainty he says when ye pray believe believe that ye receivest them and thou shall have them to receive is a spiritual reality to have means it manifests physically you only have what you have received if you cannot receive it then you cannot have it receiving is by faith based on the integrity of god's word having is now when it becomes manifest hallelujah so we're going to be praying some very powerful serious prayers in this place but for the next five to ten minutes i want us to pray in the spirit you see everyone who has a prayer language all over the world we are going to be praying in the spirit releasing our faith go ahead and pray nothing else matters Nothing else counts. I'm near.